All right, welcome everyone. This is Red from Four Guys in a Comic, and today I'm just kind of showing off my uh, Image comic book collection. Uh, be sure to also check out Nova's uh, trade paperback collection here on YouTube. And uh, he's got a lot of uh, people looking at that. I figured I'd throw out my stuff. Here's this table one. I got more over there. And basically, we have everything all nice and organized in alphabetical order. I'll kind of funk through everything here for you. 76 by B. Claymore. I love this series. Um, be sure to check our podcast out with B. Claymore as he talks uh, a little bit in depth about this. Great series for anybody that loves Image. I highly recommend it. We've got all sorts of uh, good stuff in here. Oh, my goodness. After the Cape, Series 1. After the Cape, Series 2. Great read if also. Agency. Airboy. Oh, my goodness. If you haven't read Airboy, please give that a try. It is an amazing, amazing read, and I think you'll love it as much as I do. Uh, what else we got going on in here? Lots and lots of stuff. All right. Alley Cat. Eh. <laughs> If you want to have some <laughs> some fun with some really old image titles. So I'll uh, give you an idea of what that's kind of about. Aloha, Hawaiian Dick. Oh my goodness. Another great, great uh, B. Claymore series. If you haven't read that, check it out. Uh, let's see what we got else. <clears throat> Alternation, Amber. it has got Powers, Endless, Area 51, Area Ascension. There, it's a nice little pickup right there. Astounding Wolfman by uh, Kirkman. If you haven't checked out this series, give it a try. Back there, Athena. All right, back to Brooklyn. Bad Dog, Bad Rock. Thank you. Just a lots and lots of good image titles. I'm try to find out some of the ones that I, I kind of highly recommend in here. Black Magic, yes, oh my goodness. Greg Ruka, this is a really another great read. I highly recommend it, check that one out. Let's see, Black Monday Murders, another great one. Um, <laughs> Blood Pool, yeah, we won't get into that one. Uh, Blood Strike, Brass Brigade. Volume 1 and 2, Broken Trinity, another great one. Some miscellaneous for that. Lots and lots of great things in here. Now Camp Midnight, every now and then you'll get those free comic book day specials going. Like that one right there from Image. <clears throat> Over here, let's see, Chew! Oh my goodness, you gotta read Chew. I'm still missing issues 1 from 3 in this series, but I have everything else. Good, good, good story. Let's see the Circle, Clone. Strike Force, um, a lot of one-shots in here. And let's see here, what else we got going on here? A lot of Cyber Force, a lot of Cyber stuff, period. Yeah, Dark Realm, Dark Sector, Dark Minds, ooh. There's another one. Dark Volume 2, Miscellaneous. Darkness, David and Goliath, kind of a kid's read right there. Deadly Duo, Death Blow, yes. Some good stuff going on right here with Death Blow. Death Mate, Defiance, Defiance, DFD, Desperado. Let's see, what are some other good ones that I highly recommend? Um, Drifter, I'll be honest, I've, had, I've been having a hard time with Drifter. It's hit and miss. So you might like it, you may not. It, like I say, it's a, it's a hit and miss one. What do we got? Oh, East of West. Oh my goodness. Yes, this is a great, outstanding series. Um, Jonathan Hickman, if you, if you like Hickman, you'll like East of West. It's really good. I really enjoy it. I highly recommend it. Give it a try. Uh, Eden's Fall. Yes. You know, that's a, another great series. Um, Matt Hopkins and Brian Hill. Um, whew, check, we've had both of them on our podcast several times. You should check that. Check our podcast out with them. That's really great. It's a spinoff with uh, Postal and the Tithe. And um, whew, the other one will lose me at the moment. But I'm sure we'll run across that and I'll, uh, I'll remember here. It's a lot of other small little miscellaneous stuff. 
Kevin. Oh, the fix. Oh my gosh, this is just amazing. I absolutely love the fix so much. I got two copies of the first print. And I've got basically everything in here. Some of the harder to find uh, copies. First edition, second edition. This has gone in so many editions. It's unbelievable. Um, you just, it's just so good. Nick Spencer, of course, and uh, Steve Lieber. Let's check our podcast with Steve Lieber. We're talking about the fix in there as well. Romulus and some of the other stuff that he's done. Uh, Four Eyes, of course. Uh, you know, uh, Joe Kelly. And, uh, we have a podcast with Joe Kelly as well. He talks a little bit about Four Eyes in there. Let's see. Freshman, Volume 1 and Volume 2 back here. Um, let's see. G.I. Joe. Yes. Image did a run of G.I. Joe. And actually, it was not bad. <laughs> I, uh, let's see. If you like G.I. Joe, I say check it out. You know, a lot of Gen 13 stuff. Glory. God complex, the goddamn. I I I like it. It's not too terribly bad. Um, try that graveyard shift. Oh, the Great Pacific. Um, I'm trying to remember how many issues are in this. Let's see here. It was 18 issues on, in a series. Great read. I recommend it. Love it. I think you'll love it too. Um, check out uh, my YouTube video when I discuss and talk about it. You know, form a an idea on it that if you like it or not. Oh, Hawaiian Dick, here we go, the original um, from B. Claymore. Uh, after Hawaiian Dick, it runs into well, Hawaiian Dick Last Resort. And then we have, of course, Aloha Hawaiian Dick by B. Claymore. Great stuff. You have to check out the Dick series. It is just so, so wonderfully well written. Uh, Hellshock, Haman, okay, what do we got here? United. I hate Fairyland. Another one I have everything for. You have covers one, I hate Fairyland, and cover two, F Fairyland by Scotty Young. And again, check out our uh, podcast with Scotty Young. And uh, here, this here, here you go. Here is that number one um, comic book legal defense fund variant cover. Kind of difficult to get but yeah check out the podcast with that we have with scotty young great great stuff image first okay so lots of times in the, uh, the stores you find these they're going to have the black bar along the sides and i'll say image first basically they're reprinting uh the first issue of that uh, story um for a dollar you know you can't beat that one dollar i'll buy that for a dollar lots of stuff i mean I'm, so i've been picking up all the different image firsts from all the different series uh look <laughs> Invincible! And actually, believe it or not, there are two different versions of this for Image First. All right, so I won't, I won't tell you what. You gotta go ahead and look for those, all right? Because I love Image, and we'll get into Image a little bit more. Speaking of which, here we have Image Holiday Special. This one is pretty cool because inside it had all of these short little stories. One of them being a Walking Dead special. Yes, Walking Dead. All right. This is something that you can't get in the uh, regular comic book series. You're going to have to check that out, read it. And actually, in our holiday podcast, I had discussed that issue itself. What else we got going in here? All right. Image United. Lots of great covers on that. And when you put all the covers together, it makes one big, long picture. And to, for all the volumes, they still haven't finished it yet. One day they might. Who knows? Image. Let's finish Image United. Let's see, Invincible, again, one of my favorites. I have everything here for all of the different Invincible stuff. Um, but my main Invincible is in a different box, and we're gonna get to that in a little bit here. All right, over here, let's see what we got going on. Oh, more Invincible, Invincible Universe, Judge, Jade Warriors, Jersey Gods, Jin, Jupiter's Circle, Jupiter's Legacy, Killer Be Kill. Oh my goodness, just so much. Hey, we're in the L's. Uh, Lazarus, oh my goodness. Another great, great, great story, uh, Greg Ruka. Um, you're gonna love this, You, it's a must read, okay? You need to check out Lazarus, you'll really highly enjoy it, trust me. Um, you can check out my YouTube video talking about that as well. To Chance, Legacy, Light, Lions, Lions and Tigers and Bears, oh my! Another kind of kid's book you there. Let's see, Loaded Bible. Um, 
goodness, lots of stuff in here. We got Mage. Oh, the Max Mech Destroyer. Just so much Micronauts. Mech Nation, Mind the Gap, Minister of Misery, Mission, Monster Pileup. See, Morning Glories. I'm still trying to get the rest of these. I don't have them all yet. Once I have that, I'm going to binge read. But nothing's better than me. Oh, speaking of binge reading, if you want to binge read something great, check out Nailbiter. Holy crap, this series is just so, so good. I have them all, I've read them all, I highly recommend this. Again, I did a YouTube video on this, um, check that out. Nailbiter is just one of those must read books that you need, to, you need to pick it up. All right, let's move on over here. What do we got going on? Let's see, Nancy and Hill, Near Death, Necromancer, Neon Cyborg, New Shadowhawks, New Man. Oh, night we knew. Okay, interesting story. I went to a comic book store, was going through the uh, quarter bin. As I was going through the quarter bin, I was picking out image titles that I needed, and this was one of them I found. And would you believe that? It was signed by Jonathan Hickman. And I, w I was like, is that really his autograph? So I went online and verified the signature based off of all of his other signatures from uh, uh, CGC Signature Series. And yes, that is a copy of his signature. So for a quarter, I picked up Nightly News with Jonathan Hickman's signature. So a little fun story about that. Noble Causes, my goodness, I have them all. Great stuff to read in here. And for you image fans, uh, gonna have to uh, check that check this out here. Let's see if I, where, where did I, where is that one? Ah, there it is, right there. Boom, boom, boom. Yes, look at that right there in the cover. Yes, that is Images Invincible. Right there. I think we all recognize what that cover is uh, recreated from. But this is a really great uh, cover because it has Invincible on the front and it's considered to be one of his first appearances. Yes. And this, believe it or not, this is a $50 book that I picked up that same day I got uh, Hickman's signature out of the quarter bin. So for a quarter, I got a $50 book. Oh, sorry, comic book store suckers. Uh, but I'm happy. So I got that. Let's see. Uh, normal ODYC. Yes, there we go. There's some ODYC. Met Fraction. And I think we all know what Met Fraction is known for. But we'll get to that in a little bit here. Outcast. Oi. I absolutely love Outcast. Okay, Robert Kirkman, this is a great, great read. In fact, uh, now it's a TV show. Um, if you haven't read the series, you got to. You have to pick it up. It's another must read for you. Let's see what we got going else. And Paper Girls, uh, Brian K. Vaughn. Uh, if you like um, 1980s uh, sci fi type of stuff, similar to, uh, uh, what is it? Strange, Strange Things. Stranger Things on uh, Netflix, you'll like this because this is basically what the TV or show was based off of. Really great, awesome stuff. Brian K. Vaughn, you know, wins again. Check that one out. All right, Let's see what else we got in here. A lot of miscellaneous stuff. Pit, Planetoy, Postal. There we go. We we're talking earlier about um, Matt Hawkins and Brian Hill. This is the series that is going to one day be a TV show. I guarantee it. It is so great. You have to read it. I'm telling you. It's that, put that on your must-read list as well. All right. Prophets. Prophet Earth War. Rat Queens. All right. There's uh, another popular title. We got in here. Red Mask from Mars. Red Mask from Mars. Okay. So that day that I got uh, Hickman's autograph. <laughs> believe it or not, I got two autographs for a quarter. Yes. Can you believe that? And B-O-D-E, um, that is going to be Ryan Bodenheim. So the writer and the artist both signed this. Some fool turned it into the comic book store, and the comic book store owner put it in the quarter van. Ha, my win. Let's see, here we go. Revival. Yes, you got to check out Revival, another great series. Oh, it's a little bit out of order. Number one should be up in front. All right, and Rising Stars. Saga, oh my gosh, people, if you haven't read, read Saga yet, get, check it out. It is just an amazing, 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 amazing. <clears throat> I, I mean, I, I just can't get enough of it. Brian K. Vaughn again, all right. Science Dog, okay, come on. For you, 
You people that out there that love The Walking Dead, watch The Walking Dead TV show, you'll probably recognize Science Dog on the t-shirt of Carl in season one, and I think some of season two episodes, and you can also see him reading issues of Science Dog. Science Dog, in fact, being a comic book that is being read by Mark in the Invincible comic book. Yes, the superhero reads comics, and this is the comic book that he read, which was turned into a real comic book. Science Dog. But also that little tidbit that it is in Walking Dead. Sex Criminals, yes, here we go. This is another another great stuff in here by Chip Zdarsky and Matt Fraction. Um, check out our podcast with Chip Zdarsky. Funny, funny, great uh, interview. Loved him on the show. Check that out as well. And check out the series, Sex Criminals. It is so wonderfully written. And let's see, Shadowhawks. You got tons of stuff in here. Well, we're into the yeses, though. Skinners. Skull kickers. All right. Zoo, right there. All right. This is another great one. Check that one out. Skull kickers. You'll like it. Snot girl. That one is... I mean, some issues I'm really enjoying. Other issues is like, should I keep going? And then I do, and then I like it. Then it's... it's, it's I, I'm going back and forth. All right, Southern Bastards, another great series. Check out Southern Bastards. All right, we got over here, Spartan Warriors, Spartan Rodeos, Spitting Image, Splitting Image, one of those early image parody funny things. All right, and of course, Stormwatch. Uh, Stormwatch Volume 2. Oh, yes, here we go, Stray Bullets. If you want something really fun, Check that out, Stray Bullets, which turns to Stray Bullets Killers, which now is currently Stray Bullets Sunshine and Roses. All right, and let's see, over here we have Strike Force, um, Superhuman Resources. I know it's not an image, I probably should remove this, but uh, Ken Marcus, Superhuman Resources, Volume 1, Issues 1 through 4. Um, really great stuff. Check out our podcast with um, Ken Marcus. Great guy, good stuff in there. Uh, symmetry there we go there's another uh, Matt Hawkins book 1871 the 10th they're not like us oh this is one of those books that believe it or not you can find in your local quarter bin dollar bin whatever your comic book store is uh, selling them for I'm gonna tell you it is so good if you're a fan of X-Men you'll like this because it's kind of an X-Men feelish to it but not in the Marvel tradition. It is image, okay? So it has a twist on things. And it's not the touchy-feely-ish types of stuff you're used to. It's really great. Um, check it out. Um, I can't recommend this one enough. In fact, I did a uh, YouTube video on this as well. Um, check that out as well. Uh, Thief of Thieves, of course. Great stuff. Oh, out of order. Where's number one? Number one should be up front. Uh, looks like I need to go through here and uh, reorganize a little bit. Through the, yeah, look at that. It is all out of order. I got Think Tank mixed in with Thief of Thieves. Hmm, how did that happen? Well, probably because the next thing in order is Think Tank again by Matt Hawkins. Some great stuff. Got all sorts of different uh, volumes to that. Okay. And then we jump straight over here into Tokyo Ghost. You know what? I read it. I'll be honest. I didn't care for it. So we're going to move on. Some I know some of you did like it. It just wasn't for me. All right. And Top Cow stuff. And yes, Top Cow is a division of Image, so you'll see the Image logo on a lot of Top Cow things. All right, Velvet, another. Put this on your top five breeding things. Velvet, where's issue one? Again, things are out of order. Um, so Velvet is just another great series, basically female James Bondish type of story. Okay. There we go, there's the issue one right there. Need to clean these up a little bit, get them back in order. I talk about them a lot, and Velvet is just one of those. I did a YouTube video on again. It's highly recommended. Put that up there high on your reading list. Everybody that I've talked to who's re that's read it has just been, oh yeah, you're right, Red. That is definitely well worth the time. I'm glad you recommended it. We stand on guard, another one to go up there on your top of your list, uh, Ryan K. Vaughn, short little series, uh, basically the US and Canada are at war great stuff and really well written art is outstanding all right we got the wicked and the divine another great series check that one out 
I'm enjoying that a lot. Okay. We have Wildcats. Oh, my label is missing. Um, a lot of different miscellaneous W's in here. Wildstorm, more Wildstorm. Wolf. Okay, so what collect? What image collection isn't complete without this gentleman's work in it? All right. So, and we got more Young Bloods, more Young Bloods. Zealot. All right. And I got a box here that's nothing but Witchblade. Full of Witchblade. I need to finish this series so I can binge read it. Um, it's one of those ones that I really want to read it, but I want to read it all in one sitting, so I need to just I need to take the time and finish that one up. Um, we're not done yet. Over here, Image Plus magazines. Okay, there's five issues that are currently out. I highly recommend getting it. They're two dollars an issue. What's also nice for you Walking Dead fans is it also has a little. Uh, series in the back about Negan and his origins. Really fun, really great. Check that out, another uh, one here, Deadly Hands of Criminal. These are the magazine size ones. Um, this is not exactly image, but I just happen to have them in this box. How many of you, it's Comic Shock News. Who sees Comic Shock, comic shock News in their uh, comic book store? Well, believe it or not, that has been out for a long time. I actually have issue number 29, dating January 27th of 1988. All right, one of these days I'm actually going to finish putting all of those together. It is kind of fun. Um, so Image obviously goes hand in hand with uh, independent titles, and that's what I have in here. When I go to a, a comic book conventions, I like to uh, pick stuff up from people. Right here we have City Earth. That's with Willie Cordy. Check our podcast with him. Of course, uh, Astro Punk. That's by Kenneth Centers. We have a nice podcast with him as well. All right. Uh, I said, no, my gosh, why can't I? Uh, DeVito, yes, uh, that's his comic right there. Oh my gosh, so many people we've interviewed on the podcast, it's unbelievable. So, lots and lots of independence right in here. Okay, Brian Lacey, let's see, oh, yeah, here we go. Here's a great one. Um, Pirate Eye, you know, podcast with that. Lots of good stuff in there. Sentinel, all right, yeah. So, that's those over there. Now, let's swing over to the next table. And let's see what we got in here. Oh yes, would you believe it is Savage Dragon. There we go, Savage Dragon number one. This box contains issues one through number 99. Should be in the back, yeah, look at that, 99. All right, so which means, boom, 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 this box should carry issues 100 to current. All right, and of course, the four issue series of Savage Dragon, which actually predates the Savage Dragon. So technically, this right here is the first appearance. Yes. All right, and of course, we have to have some Spawn. Okay, who doesn't have a little Todd McFarlane in their image collection? Gotta love Spawn right here. This box is issues one through, where did I have it at? I'm not quite sure. Number one to 126, which brings this box to 127. Yeah. 127, it's hiding in there somewhere. Yeah, there we go, 127, all the way to current back here. And then of course a bunch of, oops, and then these are backwards. A bunch of other miscellaneous uh, spawn titles that are in the back. All right, next up on the list, my favorite, here we go. Invincible, oh yes, oh I just had an orgasm pulling that out. That is Invincible number one, ladies and gentlemen. My goodness, I love this series I cannot recommend enough. It's on um, my top uh, comic book uh, read, recommendation, everything. Believe it or not, number one here has two different types of covers. A lot of you may not know this. There is a goldish looking cover and then there's this grayish one. Why is that, you may ask? Well, let me tell you. Towards the end of the printing, the printer was running low on ink and so you ended up with this grayish looking one. This is actually harder, a harder number one to come across because this was one of the last ones printed so the ink is a little bit different here you go this is the limited edition now let's put them side by side and you can kind of take a look at the color difference do you see that yes first number one should be looking this color but because of the low ink in the printer it came out gray mm. so there you go, some side-by-side -side comparisons. All right, 
And of course, going to this box, we have The Walking Dead. Yes, got some Comic-Con exclusive, all sorts of great Walking Dead in here. Gotta love my uh, Walking Dead. If you watch the TV show and haven't read the series, oh, shame on you because let me tell you something. The Walking Dead comic is far superior than the TV show. I mean, I'm talking completely better. All right, so we have those. 